Stop wasting your time with these long drawn out ab routines and do this instead. What's going on, JRD Nation? This is Brandon Epstein here from the Jump Rope Dudes. And today I put together a beginner jump rope workout that I'm gonna do from home, you can do from home, you can literally do it anywhere. And the reason why I'm giving this to you is because people find these super intense ab workout routines on the internet and they think they have to do them to get six pack abs. It's not true. There's only two things you have to do to get six pack abs. Number one, you need to have your nutrition dialed in so you have to eat in a deficit until your abs are actually able to show because your body fat percentage is low enough. Number two, you do have to build a little bit of muscle on your abs so they're very visible and easy to see, but you don't have to do any insane ab routines to get six pack abs. You can do things very simple. You can do things in a very short amount of time. So I'm gonna give you my routine that only takes six minutes. You can do it three times a week. It's great for beginners. And if you do this, you're gonna make sure that you don't get injured. Final thing I will mention is that we are a jump rope fitness channel. So we have some incredible jump rope workouts to help you burn fast. So you can actually chisel that fat off your body so it can reveal those six pack abs. If you wanna check out any of those workouts, be my guest, I'll put them on the screen right now. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna take you through my six minute ab routine. Who knows how long it'll take first time through because I'm gonna be explaining it, giving you instructions on how to do it. So the first thing I wanna point out is that I'm basically taking popular pop culture ab exercises and I'm simplifying them, making them more beginner friendly, and also just having you do them in a way that's gonna help you avoid injury. Now the first one that we're simplifying is going to be the V-up. Now you've probably seen this, a lot of people do V-ups to hit those lower abs, and they look something like this. Now, if you don't have the ab strength, what happens is as you come up, you might bring that lower back and arch it off the ground. It's not good for your lower back. So if you can't keep your lower back on the ground, you shouldn't be doing this exercise. So what we're gonna basically uh, replace it with is these dead bugs. So you can see here, my lower back is pressed against the ground, hands at my side, and you just bring your feet to the ground, and then back up to 90 degrees. To the ground, back up to 90 degrees. So that's the first exercise we're gonna be doing today. Okay. And the, really, the thing that I want to harp on is make sure your lower back is pressing against the ground at all times. So you're sucking that belly button in and pushing that lower back against the ground. Now the second one, very similarly, is Russian twists. So a lot of people want to hit their oblique muscles, so they get those, those V lines. And so they try to do Russian twists, which looks something like this, right? If you don't have the ab strength, you end up crunching your back, which is really bad for your lower back as well. So if you can't keep a completely straight back and do this, instead what we're gonna do is we're just going to come back down onto our back again, bring our heels to our glutes, and we're just gonna alternate reaching for our feet on either side. So it's gonna look like this. Keeping that lower back pressed up against the ground. All right, I'll give you another angle for this. Right here. So we're pressing our lower back, but we're bringing our shoulders up off the ground. And we're hitting these oblique muscles. Final exercise we're gonna to do today. So now you've seen, we press lower abs, we're hitting the obliques, and then we're gonna hit those full abs through a plank. Now a lot of people do the plank wrong. So I'm gonna explain it to you step by step. First things first, get on all fours. And I want you pressing in between your index and your thumbs right in here so pressing in then we're going to bring our toes back and you want to press up and away from the ground pressing into the ground pressing up and away up through the back of your spine and we're holding it here and you don't have your butt up in the air you don't have your butt slagging uh, falling down here you want your butt to be just slightly above vertical. So you don't need a vertical line. You just wanna keep your tailbone tucked and your core tight. And we're gonna be pushing away from the ground, All right? So these are the three exercises we're gonna be doing. Not super complicated, but very beginner friendly. And take it at your own pace. So we're gonna go through this together. Let's get after it. All right, so we're gonna get started by doing uh, 50 of these dead bugs. So if you need to take a rest during it, that's fine. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna be doing 50 of these uh, toe, uh, heel touches, the alternative to the brush and twist. And then we're gonna hold the plank for 30 seconds. And we're gonna run through this until we get to six minutes. We'll see how many times we can do it. All right, let's begin. On your back. 
and just follow along with me or go at your own pace, but get yourself to 50. Remember to push that lower back through the ground. And you can keep your head off the ground or lift it up, you, or put it on the ground or lift it up, either one. Something I want to say, if you feel like you can't handle this, you need to take a break because your lower back is starting to arch, take a break, relax for a moment, take a deep breath, and come back to it again, all right? What's key here is we want to have really good form throughout this whole exercise. Hold that belly button So take a rest. If you want, you can stretch your abs out. Good work. Then we're gonna go to this heel touches, the alternative to the Russian twist. Back and forth. One touching both sides counts as one round. Here we go, lift up your shoulder blades, keep that lower back pinned, here we go. Really try to feel that pinch on each side of the oblique. If you're working those oblique muscles. Great. Now we're coming up into a plank. Together, pushing the ground away, pushing through that spinal cord, tailbone tucked. Squeeze that belly. You need to bring your knees down at any point, go ahead and do so and then bring it back up. Try to get to at least 30 seconds if you can. So now we can go through this again, and that'll get you to around six minutes or so. Okay, so without any explanation with this, you should be able to get through this at least two to three times in around six minutes, all right? If you're going back to back to back with each exercise. And that's what I recommend. And listen, if that's super easy, you wanna build up and you wanna to start to do the V-ups, you wanna to start to do the Russian twist, be my guest. But these are very beginner friendly and they're also very safe because they protect your lower back. And really what we care about here at the Jump Rope Dudes is making sure that you stay healthy, you have functional strength, so you can keep doing your jump rope workouts. And we know that if you do these types of beginner ab exercises, it's going to, of course, reveal the six pack abs and it's going to keep you healthy and functional and strong. So that's where our goal is. So go ahead and take that routine I just gave you, the 50, 50 in 30 seconds, and repeat that three times, and that's all you gotta do. So thanks so much for watching. If you wanna do it along, follow along with me, and you need my guidance, feel free to reverse the video and watch it again. Otherwise, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. 
If you are subscribed, if you're not, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want more in-depth workouts, we have all types of routines for specifically for abs, for push-ups, for pull-ups, for jump rope, check out jumpropedudes.tv. It's linked up in the description below as well. So thanks again, and as always, do the thing.